Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sims Biology. Today we will discuss about Mendelian degenerates. So first let's discuss about the recessive degenerates. Today in this lecture we are going to discuss about phenylketonuria and sickle cell anemia. So let's discuss about phenylketonuria first. So this is an inborn autosomal recessive metabolic degenerate means it is found during birth and it is autosomal because the causing gene is present in autosome it is recessive because when both the allele are having the defective gene then only the disease or the disorder is found in the offspring and it is metabolic disorder because it the gene responsible for secreting a specific enzyme is not able to produce that enzyme that is the reason why the phenylalanine that is an amino acid is accumulated in our body causing the disorder so it is a kind of metabolic disorder so it is found in homozygous recessive individuals because in homozygous condition only this degenerate is seen because it is recessive okay so homologous recessive individual lacks the enzyme phenyl alanine hydroxylase so remember this name phenyl alanine hydroxylase is the enzyme which is not secreted in the body of the individual having the degenerate phenylketonuria so here this enzyme this phenyl alanine hydroxylase is the enzyme which helps in converting phenylalanine to tyrosine in liver but in the absence of this enzyme phenylalanine is not converted into tyrosine in the liver tyrosine also an amino acid so due to non conversion of phenylalanine to tyrosine in liver what happens the phenylalanine gets accumulated so here the cause is abnormal autosomal recessive gene the gene which causes the uh, disorder is located in chromosome 12 remember chromosome 12 okay so this results in phenylalanine accumulation so phenylalanine get accumulated in our body which is also excreted so the excretion in excretion also phenylalanine comes out from our body so babies are normal while while the new one take birth it is normal but within few weeks after few weeks of the development after birth after few week of birth what happens the phenylalanine level rises rises from around 30 to 50 times that is the cause why the brain development become abnormal in such individuals so you can take screenshot from here you can prepare your note from here so these are the causes the abnormal autosomal recessive gene is located in chromosome 12 remember this one so phenylalanine gets accumulated and excreted from the individual the babies are normal but with some time passing of time within few weeks the child do not develop friend as it should be so the development of brain is hampered due to this accumulation of phenylalanine so now let's see what are the symptoms so let me write what are the different symptoms here how we can know that the individual is affected with such disorder so in symptoms first let's know the number one first uh, symptom which is seen within six months of birth of the child that is the mental retardation mental retardation so mental retardation takes place within six months within six months months of birth clear another important one is that one third of the 
वन थर्ड ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन कैन नॉट वर्क वन थर्ड ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन कैन वर्क एंड टू थर्ड of children can't talk and the reason is abnormal development of their brain okay another important symptom is that the lack of pigmentation in hair and skin so i am writing here lack of pigmentation in hair and skin lack of pigmentation in hair and skin away from these four important points you need to remember four important symptoms what are they brain damage number 1 i am writing brain damage due to abnormal development of brain it is damaged pair development another one is poor yes poor development of brain poor development of brain okay next learning disability we have learning disability as a symptom disability of learning and the last one is the behavioral abnormality due to due to the abnormal development of brain behavioral abnormality is also found in the individual suffering from phenylketonuria so these are the various symptoms learning disability brain damage behavioral abnormality poor development of brain and learning disability along with lack of pigmentation in hair and skin mental retardation one third cannot walk two third cannot talk so these are the important symptoms we need to remember these and from these symptoms we can easily guess that the developing child is suffering from the disorder phenylketonuria which is a recessive metabolic disorder so this is all about the phenylketonuria so now we will talk about the sickle cell anemia so this is also an autosomal recessive disorder okay so this is also autosomal it is uh, due to abnormality in the autosome and it is also recessive like that of the phenylketonuria and it is when the affected individuals are having a single when a single allele is affected means the individual is not affected but a silent carrier of the disease okay so the affected individual produces altered form of hemoglobin so normally hemoglobin a is present in normal individual most people carry hba allele and hemoglobin a is produced in their body because of the presence of hba allele but the affected people are homozygous when they are homozygous only the disorder is seen because it is recessive one so when in case of homozygous individuals the allele is not hba but it is hbs that is the reason why it will produce hemoglobin s which is not normal hba allele is normal which helps in the production of hemoglobin a whereas in case of sickle cell anemia individual having sickle cell anemia we will have hbs allele which will produce hemoglobin s so what is the cause behind this uh, uh, sickle cell anemia the disorder is seen because of the substitution of glutamic acid this is an amino acid glutamic acid by valine so when glutamic acid is substituted it is replaced by another amino acid that is the valine at the sixth position of beta globin chain of hemoglobin as we know hemoglobin has two different chains alpha and beta chain in the sixth position of beta globin chain the glutamic acid the amino acid glutamic acid is replaced by valine because valine is present in place of glutamic acid means 
GAG represents glutamic acid which is replaced by GUG means the A is replaced by U that is the reason why the glutamic acid is replaced by valine causing these abnormality or these these are okay so normal remember in normal individual the rbcs are biconcave and disc shaped but in individuals having this dzd sickle cell anemia they have elongated sickle shaped sickle shaped rbc under low oxygen concentration because the hemoglobin are the proteins are the molecules that help in carrying oxygen in the blood in the blood they are present so they help in carrying oxygen when they are not normal means elongated sickle shaped at that time what happens normally oxygen concentration in our body is low so un so under low oxygen concentration the rbc becomes sickle shaped they are not not normal like the biconcave disc shaped but they are sickle shaped and another thing you have to note down that in this case the rbcs come together attract one another and forms crystals which may block the capillaries so now you can look at the board and make your note another thing i want to tell you that what will happen when one hbs allele and one hba allele is present in the individual let's see the condition so look here we have two individuals one is having hba hbs and another is having hbs and hba so when we cross these two individuals what will be the outcome so here we will have hba hbs here we will have hbs hbs hba hba hbs on hb a so this is the condition here this individual is normal because it have both the allele hba which is found in most of the people in normal people without any dzd again these two corner to corner these two are having both the type of alleles so they are silent carrier of the dzd the sickle cell anemia is not found in them and they are not affected not affected this one is also not affected and one thing we need to note down here that they are resistant to malaria not affected and resistant to malaria these are resistant to malaria okay malaria resistant clear so they are malaria resistant here it is also malaria resistant but this individual is affected with sickle cell anemia so it is affected individual so those which are having two different types of allele hbs as well as hba there some of the rbcs develop into sickle shaped and some becomes normal so in them as the plasmodium which causes the malaria disease in our body lives spend some of its time some of the lifespan inside the rbc so it cannot complete its lifespan inside a sickle shaped rbc that is the reason why the individual do not develop malaria or do not die because of malaria so they are considered to be malaria resistant but the other one having two hbs allele 
2 HBS allele develop sickle cell anemia means they are affected with the disorder and the other one with 2 HBA alleles are normal. So this is all about the sickle cell anemia, the cause, the replacement of glutamic acid biophilin and the presence of abnormal hemoglobin causes this disorder. So this is all about phenylketonuria and sickle cell anemia, the most important Mendelian disorder. So thank you very much.